the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit my dear brothers and sisters let me share a few thoughts about prophecy in the bible because many are claiming to be prophets nowadays and speaking all kinds of nonsense to put doubts and confusion into the minds of uneducated christians and especially the catholics bible speaks of prophets as only those who speak god's word it's very clear those who foretell future are called seers and it is strictly forbidden in the bible this was part of paganism especially in the old testament therefore in deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 9 to 12 it speaks about those trying to know the future esoteric knowledge through seers and divination god instructs the people of israel i quote when you come into the land that the lord god has given you you shall not learn to follow the abominable practices of those nations mean pagan nations there shall not be found among you anyone who burns his son or his daughter as an offering as a sacrifice anyone who practices divination or tells fortunes or interprets omens or a sorcerer or a charmer or a medium or a necromancer or one who inquires of the dead for whoever does these things is a, an abomination to the lord that's a quotation and because of these abominations the lord your god is driving them out before you hence necromancy astrology fortune telling hand reading shamanism reading of omens approaching pagan pujaris oja board etc or devilish and are strictly forbidden for christians all these are against the first commandment i am the lord your god thou shall not have other gods before you exodus chapter 20 verse 23 anyone who indulges in this trying to speak in the name of god claiming to know the mind of god or rather claiming to know more than jesus himself will be driven out from his presence first corinthians chapter 2 verse 16 asks this question who has known the mind of the lord as to instruct him also confer romans chapter 11 verse 34 in the old testament god was using certain people known as prophets as his mouthpiece the one the one necessary in the old testament god was speaking through them samuel moses isaiah elisha elijah ezekiel jeremiah etc are all examples of such people they all spoke what god wanted them to communicate to his people but in the old testament there were also false prophets known as seers who were pretending to know the mind of god for example after the death of samuel king saul who had sinned against god went to seek out false prophets to know the will of god regarding him he went in search of a witch who could bring back the dead and listen to them uh, later on you can see how prophet elijah elijah to was strong against these kind of false prophets and he put them to death more than 500 of these false prophets if you can read for example first kings 18 22 and how he dealt with false prophets in chapter 22 of first kings it's very uh, revealing all the prophets of the old testament including john the baptist spoke about the final prophet of god jesus they are more than 300 of these prophecies in the old testament for example genesis 28 verse 14 and this corresponds in luke chapter 3 verse 14 in the new testament second samuel chapter 2 verse 7 
12 to 13 and his correspondence in uh, Matthew chapter 1 verse 1 in Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 and uh, chapter 40 verse 3 to 4 and his correspondence in Luke chapter 1 verse 70 to 76 etc. In the last quotation John the Baptist becomes the last of the prophets of the Most High that is Jesus in Luke chapter 1 verse 70 and 76. Therefore John the Baptist is the final prophet let's say in the Old Testament. And coming to the New Testament, Jesus is the Word of God who was with God in the beginning and who was God the Creator. As it is given in John chapter 1 verse 2 to 3. This Word was made flesh and reveals the Father. John 1 verse 14 to 15. And it is written, we have seen His glory. And so Jesus is the only real prophet and the final one because who else can know the Father's mind like the Son? Jesus is the final revelation. Those who try to know more than Jesus are all false prophets. If someone else claims to be greater than Jesus and knows the mind of God more than Jesus, that person is called Antichrist in the Bible. You can see very well in 1 John chapter 4, verse 3 and 4. Then what about prophecy and prophets in the New Testament? It's very simple. Jesus is the Holy High Priest. Jesus is the only prophet. Jesus is the only real king in the unique guest, if we can use that word, in the unique sense. But every Christian are called to be a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a set apart to sing the praises of God. As we read in 1 Peter chapter 2, each of us is called to share in the ministry of Christ, to be a prophet and a sharer of his message. The charismatic gift of prophecy is only to proclaim the word of God and to build up the body of Christ. As a messenger of Christ, we are called to be prophet in the sense of being bold to proclaim the message of Christ and to do the work of a watchman. Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 7. We are a watchman of God's word. The revelation in Christ is total and complete. O to the one who adds to the prophecy in the Bible or takes away anything from it. Revelation chapter 22 verse 18 to 19. This is the great, greatest indictment on people down through the centuries who try to play God or play the prophet after Christ. Including Muhammad in 622 or uh, numerous other prophetic founders of Protestant churches after say 1506 Martin Luther or 1533 uh, Henry VIII or 1606 John Smith and uh, other more than 30,000 new new prophets and new new churches, founders of churches in the world. If this was not true then Jesus coming into the world would be useless or redundant. He is the only saviour and final prophet or he will be the greatest fake or hoax in history.